Hello, and welcome to the News Crunch update for the 20th of November. In today's news, before Game Center on iOS, one company ruled the multiplayer roost of games on the platform. This was OpenFeint. But news was released today that parent company, Gree, plans to shut down the second-hand service around mid-December with all connections to their central gaming hub terminated. As of yet, we don't know whether existing iOS games using the OpenFeint system will just fail to carry on working, but developers on this outdated platform are being asked to bring their games to Gree's own social gaming service. Whether or not this will cause junk apps piling up on the App Store, we'll just have to wait and see. But will this annoy some users for breaking their beloved games? With mapping apps in the forefront of people's minds after the unencouraging launch of the Apple Maps with iOS 6, BombDog Nokia have launched a new mapping service named Here on the Apple App Store. The Nokia business model for a long time was to mass produce cheap phones with basic user interfaces in order to make a profit. But after the smartphone became the new norm for the industry, they realised that they had to change their game plan. Now with their popular new handset, the Lumia, taking top spot with the Windows Phone platform, the company's brought their HTML mapping service to iOS, promising a free alternative to the poor offering from Apple. Available on all platforms, going all the way back to Symbian, Nokia here was promising features including offline maps and voice guidance. Mapping imagery, which is powered by Navtech, is of good quality and the offline feature promises compromise for no data signal. But with a 10 megabit download limit, the more miles you take offline, the poorer the image quality. Will this be a big revenue turner for Nokia, or is their name still forever cursed by their previous Obby offering? Western Digital have started to ship their new 4TB black hard drive for a modest $339. These new supercapacity drives combine the best of both worlds with speed and storage. The incredible 4TB capacity offers the largest of the 2.5 inch hard drive market. Running at a healthy 7200 RPM, the save to speed reads at 6 gigabits per second. Until the cost of solid state drives falls dramatically, we won't see any of these blistering fast transfer rates with 4 terabyte capacity for a long time to come. Today's daily deal is from Western Digital, who are currently selling their 2 terabyte USB 2.0 elements hard drive for just $90 in the US Amazon store. For those viewers in the UK, you can get a fantastic deal for a Seagate 3 terabyte USB 3.0 external hard drive for just £100. Find both links in the description below. Thanks for watching today's update. If you liked our content, please remember to like and subscribe, or if you have a question, leave it down in the comments below.